Hello, my name is Joe Kijas. I'm the president of Equity Metals Corporation. We are a junior explorer and we are exploring in the safe jurisdiction of uh, British Columbia. We uh, primarily are interested in the gold, silver, uh, although we have some base metals as well. We trade on two exchanges in Canada on the TSXV under the symbol EQTY and in the United States under the uh, OTC uh, QB under the symbol EQMSF. So we're really a, a takeover story here. We uh, uh, took over a company called New Nadina a while back because we saw an opportunity where uh, the original group was trying to make a very small mine and make it profitable. We looked at this as an opportunity to expand this because we thought this was a much more interesting uh, project than they were giving it credit for. And as an investor, you may be interested in, in the cycle of, of many juniors. So there's an initial bump in value that's related to the discovery phase. That's really the phase that we focus on. Then there's generally a lull as the, uh, as the discovery is evaluated and you know, begins to go into production. There's another phase once that production is underway and is successful. So there are other people that have skills for that set. We, as I say, focus on the early stage. So rather than focus on that second stage of increasing a small mine, our thought is go back, do the discovery and turn this into a large deposit so that we get a nice ride on the discovery phase. So as I mentioned, our project is, is quite, uh, is in British Columbia. It's a large position. It's in a well mineralized belt called the Skeena Arch. The property package is quite large. It's about three times the size of Manhattan. And we're surrounded by miners and uh, midterm and, and major miners that are either already in production or have uh, had, had production in the past. Uh, some are at discovery stage. This is important for the investor because when you find something as an explorer, you want a ready market of people that are interested in either taking over the company or coming in as, as uh, joint venture partners. So this is why um, we chose this project. You know, we have specific reasons for taking a project, uh, certain boxes that we check. Uh, one of those is that we want the upside to be worthwhile for someone to come in and, and either take over the company or to uh, come in as a partner. So a number of things that we look at are logistics. The, uh, the main project that we have in the company is, is a project called Silver Queen. It has had a hundred years of exploration and various uh, small scale mining on it. Um, we looked at this as an opportunity to develop into a much, much larger uh, position um, as an explorer with many types of discovery and uh, there has been some uh, discovery in the past. It is uh, about a half million ounces of gold equivalent if you want to compare it to say other, other projects, but we see this as uh, some obvious places where there just hasn't been drilling enough to uh, increase the size. And there are a number of veins that have had virtually no drilling on them. So our experience is uh, with these types of systems that they are related to uh, and in this case, a, a porphyry system, which means that this could be quite large, much better than uh, just a small resource that was already discovered. And as we're starting to learn about the deposit, we hope to uh, replicate some of the success that we had on another project we had in British Columbia. And that is where we understood the uh, geologic picture so that we could predict where we can find new discoveries. And, uh, and we were quite successful in making new discoveries on that particular project. Uh, that was in the Golden Triangle. The topography in the Golden Triangle is challenging. Well, everything's done with a helicopter. Uh, this is quite a different story and one of the reasons that we're interested in taking on this project. Geologically, it is a similar project, uh, high-grade gold, silver, and base metals. However, the topography and logistics here are just fantastic. There's a, a gravel road, all season road that passes through the project, water, um, electricity, uh, easy access. Topography is very uh, gentle as we can you know, pretty much drive anywhere on the project. So a lot of the boxes that we look for are checked. We're excited at this point in the program because 
we have just succeeded in completing a, uh, our initial drilling program. We have about 3,000 meters of drilling. We have a very small percentage of that that uh, we have received assays. The assays have been pretty spectacular and uh, some very high grade uh, gold or silver, particularly on this particular vein, as well as uh, additional base metals and, and uh, gold as well. So our thought on this is that we have some areas where we can expand by future drilling, which we're planning and hope to have underway sometime in the end of November. We have a lot of drill data, a lot of samples that we have not received the assays on our main target. And that one, we're still waiting for assays. And once we receive those assays, we'll be able to put together a program that will begin sometime in the winter. So we're looking at a two phase uh, next pro or two phases of next program, a, a fairly uh, a, a system very uh, very quickly where we'll drill the mineralization that we had success in this first round of drilling. That's on a project we call the Camp Vein. There's a parallel vein that's called the Number Three. That's where the majority of the existing resource is. It's open at depth. It's open at a long strike. And uh, we have done our initial drilling. We're waiting for the results. And based on that, we'll be choosing between different drill sites that we have permitted. So permitting is, is relatively easy in that part of the world where uh, we've completed that. We have a five-year program and uh, we're set for a very exciting year.